Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about this false prophet on YouTube called Young Don Reborn. And to be honest, I thought he was really bad, but somebody this morning uh, who's in his Discord sent me some stuff that he posted recently, and he's even worse than I thought. I mean, he's, he's probably the worst, to be honest. And there's some really bad people out there that are teaching a hardcore work salvation, but this is probably the worst of the worst. So you know what, let's just get right into this and um, I'm gonna read here <clears throat> the first one. He says, uh, no Bible study this morning, getting circumcised. Circumcision is not necessary for salvation. However, since making the decision to uphold all of God's laws to the best of my abilities, I have seen a dramatic change in terms of my relationship with God. I believe the modern live by faith mantra has been misunderstood by the masses to mean live how you feel with the security of no matter how much or how little you try, God loves you regardless. Okay, so see what he's doing. He, he's playing the holier than thou. He's playing the Pharisee and that's what he is. And where are the Pharisees right now? They're burning in the pits of hell. And that's right where he's gonna go. And the people that follow him are gonna be there with him. And then he says, the physical points to the spiritual. I believe God gave us laws to govern our actions and bodies as the way to reflect our faith. The spiritual, which is invisible, the more I obey his commandments, the more tangible and solid my connection with him feels, the more the noise and distractions of this world recedes into the background, and the more my mind is fixated on him. I do not believe this is a coincidence. There is a lot more I can say, but I will let it end here. Good. Please do. Uh, that said, whether you agree or disagree with me, I would appreciate your prayers all the same. Peace and love. Right, right. Oh, I'm better than you. I don't sin. I got circumcised. See what it is? I mean, this guy's literally just like the false prophets that crept in uh, in uh, the book of Galatians, <clears throat> describing him. Um, well, see, you don't have to get circumcised. However, you should. He says here, I'm not accusing you of sinning. I'm seriously asking, have you stopped sinning? Because the Bible makes it clear that it's 100% possible. How stupid are you? No man can go without sinning. That is a big fat lie. Now, when you receive a, your, your new spirit from God, once you get saved, you know, that is perfect. But your flesh is still there, right? The new man is perfect. Your flesh is not. It's imperfect and sinful. So if you're going to walk in the flesh, you're going to be sinning, right? If you walk in the spirit, you won't. And the spirit is perfect. Is your, fle your, your flesh isn't going to heaven, right? That's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50, it says that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. I mean, my gosh, this guy's saying he does not sin. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? What? And then he says, to be honest, to the best of my knowledge, I, I don't. I truly believe that sin is breaking the law. Having an uh, inappropriate thought is not a sin. Well, that's not true because the Bible says otherwise. It says the thought of foolishness is sin. Uh, you can look that up in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 9. But when I look at my actions, I have not broken any of the Ten Commandments all day. Any dietary law, I'm wearing my tassels. Honestly, I cannot think of one that I have done today. I have no hate in my heart to anyone or even anger. I've forgiven everyone who has wronged me. I just can't think of one. Okay. Um, you know what the Bible says? Uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 9. Who can say I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Oh, I know who can say that. A hypocrite like this, a lying moron, false prophet. And then he says, where is the scripture that says all men sin constantly or even very often every day? Why are you so sure this is true? Can you not think of a time where you used to sin more often? Have you not proven that you can decrease how often you break God's laws? Why is it not possible to continue in this way? I'm not saying I'm perfect. See, I'm not saying I'm perfect. This is what they do. This is what they do. Oh, it's possible to not sin. It's possible to 
Oh, 100% not sin, but I'm not saying I'm, I'm perfect. This is what they do, man. These false prophets. You know, I had a guy on my Instagram comment <clears throat> that uh, you can lose your salvation and that you need to repent of all your sins to be saved. And I said, well, um, has, has, you've repented of all your sins. You've repented of all of them, right? And he says, well, I'm not perfect. This is what they do. So you got two options to go to heaven. One, be perfect. And two, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust in him, what he did, not in what you are doing. People like this are trusting in what they are doing to get them into heaven. They're working their way into heaven, right? Where, where it's going to get you is hell, okay? It's not whosoever is good enough. Whosoever stops sinning. It's whosoever believeth, right? There's two types of people in this world. Those who believe on Christ and those who don't believe. You know, there's, there's people that quit drinking every day. There's people that stop uh, doing drugs every day. They, they turn over a new leaf. Are they saved? No, because you don't need to have Jesus Christ to do that, right? People do that all the time without Jesus. That's the point I'm trying to get across. Any unsaved person can turn over a new leaf. <laughs> and where I left off, it says, I'm not saying I'm not perfect, but to say you are sinning constantly isn't true for even most people. I mean, okay. What's your point? <laughs> you not sinning is not getting you into heaven, okay? That, I guess... I mean, to this guy, Christ is just dead in vain. You know what Apostle Paul said? He said, if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. This guy is just teaching you the law. It's not what Jesus, notice it's never what Jesus did. It's what he did. It's, it's, it's him not sinning. And then he says here, I am not. I am making a point that to the best of my awareness, I have not broken any of the laws of God to show that you are not sinning every minute of the day. I mean, what is, what are you talking about, dude? I mean, I've, I've heard this guy say, if you can go five minutes without sinning, you can go uh, an hour without sinning. If you can go an hour, you can go a day. If you can go a day, you can go a month. If you can go a, a month, you can go a year. If you can go a year without sinning, you can just go your whole life without sinning, right? Wrong. That's not true. It, it literally says in 1 John that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Thank God, this is the last one. Uh, then he says here, yes, but you must become sinless yourself. I mean, we are sinless in the spirit, but he doesn't understand the Bible. Your flesh is sinful. Once you're saved, you can still go, go walk in the flesh and do all the same sins. Or you can walk in the spirit, which is perfect. First Peter chapter 1, verse 23, it says, being born again, not of a corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever, eternal security, once saved, only saved. And then it says, that is what his sacrifice did. It washes the repentant of all their past sins. No, actually it's not all their past sins. It's all of your sins, past, present, and future, every single sin, okay? It's not your past sins. What is this idiot bozo talking about? Seriously. I mean, I said I'm not holding back, but he is blaspheming the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And then he says, and in receiving the Holy Spirit, you become able to not sin anymore going forward. He says, if you do, you will have an advocate. Yes, but God is the one that will help you stop sinning the way he restrained King Abimelech from sleeping with Sarah. But the point is to make you literally into the image of Jesus. If you continue to sin, you are a sinner and not redeemed. So this guy's saying if you sin at all, that's at all. But he just said he's not perfect. He's totally contradicted himself. It's either you're perfect or you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put all your trust in Jesus or you're perfect. Okay. Two ways to heaven, buddy. Two ways to heaven. I put all my faith in Jesus. I put all my trust in him, right? I can't get myself into heaven. There's no work that I can do to get myself into heaven. Just believe and put your faith in Jesus, right? God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son. He died on the cross and shed his blood for us to save us from hell. That's God loves us, right? But salvation is by faith alone in Jesus Christ, not of works, lest any man should boast. Now, what this guy's doing is 100% boasting. I do this, I do that, I don't sin. You think God's going to care when he gets there to, 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 on Judgment Day? No. 
He's not. Because he's putting his faith in his works. Putting his faith in his works. Um, with that being said, guys, um, you know, be sure to comment. Be sure to like this video. And uh, that's all I got, really, man. This guy is just... This, 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 stay away from this guy, seriously. That's all I got.